Bet you didn't know that our solar system is 4.6 billion years old. That's right, our cosmic neighborhood with its star, the sun, and all its planets has been around for a really, really, really long time. Just imagine all those billions of years ago, our solar system was just beginning to form, setting the stage for the celestial dance of planets we see today. That's older than your great, 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 great grandparents, isn't it? Our solar system superstar, the sun, is more than a million times larger than Earth. Just imagine, if the sun were a beach ball, Earth would be nothing more than a tiny pebble. The sun is a gigantic ball of hot glowing gases, with temperatures reaching up to 15 million degrees Celsius at its core, which is hotter than anything we can imagine. It's not just a big ball of fire though, the sun is our ultimate energy source, powering everything from the photosynthesis in plants to the weather patterns on Earth. It's the boss of our solar system, holding all the planets in their orbits with its immense gravitational pull. And here's a fun fact, even though the sun is 93 million miles away from us, it takes sunlight just over 8 minutes to reach Earth. Isn't that incredible? Without the sun, life on Earth wouldn't be possible. It's truly our solar system's shining superstar. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun, experiences temperatures of up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Can you imagine that kind of heat? It's enough to melt lead. Yet surprisingly, Mercury is not the hottest planet in our solar system. This small, rocky planet, only about one-third the size of Earth, whizzes around the Sun faster than any other planet. It completes one orbit in just 88 Earth days. Now that's speedy. Despite being so close to the Sun, Mercury doesn't have any atmosphere to trap the heat. So when the Sun sets, temperatures can plummet to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Brr, that's colder than your freezer at home. Mercury is a fascinating planet with extremes of hot and cold, and it's just the first stop on our journey through the solar system. Despite its closeness to the Sun, Mercury isn't the hottest planet in our solar system. Contrary to what you might think, Venus, not Mercury, is the hottest planet in our solar system. How is that possible, you ask? Well, Venus is blanketed by a thick layer of carbon dioxide, which traps the Sun's heat and creates a powerful greenhouse effect. This makes Venus sizzle at an average temperature of 865 degrees Fahrenheit, that's hot enough to melt lead. Venus is also known as the evening star because it's one of the brightest objects in the night sky. But despite its beauty from afar, Venus is anything but inviting. Its atmosphere is filled with clouds of sulfuric acid, causing constant acid rain. However, don't worry, this acid rain never reaches the surface because it evaporates due to the extreme heat. Venus is truly a world of fiery temperatures and acid-filled skies. You wouldn't want a vacation there with temperatures hot enough to melt lead. Our home, Earth, is the only planet known to support life. It's a dazzling blue marble suspended in the vast cosmos, teeming with diverse creatures and breathtaking landscapes. The Earth's life-supporting atmosphere is like a protective blanket, keeping us safe from harmful solar radiation and helping to regulate our climate. Now Earth sits just right in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone around the Sun. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. And speaking of water, did you know that over 70% of Earth's surface is covered by oceans? That's a whole lot of swimming space. Life as we know it thrives in this delicate balance. From the tallest mountains to the deepest oceans, from scorching deserts to lush rainforests, Earth is a vibrant symphony of life, painted in a palette of awe-inspiring colors and shapes. Remember, there's no place like home, especially when it's Earth. Mars, known as the Red Planet, is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system. Its distinct red appearance is due to iron oxide, or as we know it, rust. Unlike other planets, Mars has seasons just like Earth, thanks to its tilt. But don't get too excited about Martian summers, they are still colder than a winter's day at the North Pole. Mars also boasts the largest volcano and the deepest canyon in the solar system, Olympus Mons and Valles Marineris, respectively. These two features alone make Mars a fascinating place to explore. Speaking of exploration, we've sent a number of rovers to Mars. These rovers have been our eyes and ears on the Red Planet, studying its surface and searching for signs of past life. Perhaps the most exciting thing about Mars is the possibility that it could support human life in the future. Scientists are working hard to see if we can one day call Mars our second home. Have you ever heard of gas giants? Meet Jupiter and Saturn, the largest planets in our solar system. They're so massive and are primarily made up of, you guessed it, gas. Let's start with Jupiter, the biggest planet in our neighborhood. It's so large that you could fit more than a thousand Earths inside it. Imagine that. 
And it's not just big, it's also a bit of a show-off, with its colorful swirling clouds and the famous Great Red Spot, a storm that's been raging for at least 300 years. Jupiter doesn't just hog the limelight with its size and striking looks, it also has a rather large entourage. It's surrounded by a whopping 79 moons. The four largest, known as the Galilean moons, are some of the biggest objects in our solar system outside the Sun and the eight planets. Now let's shift our gaze to Saturn, the second largest planet. Saturn is best known for its stunning rings, made of chunks of ice and rock. But did you know that if you could stand on Saturn, which you can't because it's a gas giant, you'd weigh less than you do on Earth? That's because Saturn is less dense than water. Saturn is also blessed with a lot of moons. Can you guess how many? It has a staggering 82 moons, three more than Jupiter. The largest of these, Titan, is the only moon in our solar system that has a substantial atmosphere, and it's even been said to resemble an early Earth. Like Jupiter, Saturn is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, the same elements that make up our Sun. This gives them their gas giant moniker. These planets are not just big, they're fascinating, each boasting features that make them unique in our solar system. Jupiter and Saturn are so big they're like mini solar systems on their own. Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants, are the coldest planets in the solar system. They're called ice giants not because they're made of ice or because they're particularly chilly, but due to the high proportion of icy materials within their atmospheres. Think about it, these planets are so far away from the sun that they're mostly composed of substances like water, ammonia, and methane. Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun, is unique because, unlike other planets, it spins on its side. Imagine trying to spin a top sideways, that's Uranus for you. And then comes Neptune, the furthest planet from the sun, with winds that are the fastest in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour. These planets might seem inhospitable with their freezing temperatures and violent winds, but they hold a special place in our solar system's family. Brr, just thinking about Uranus and Neptune makes me feel cold. Wow, our solar system is an amazing place, isn't it? We've embarked on a stellar journey together uncovering fascinating facts about the enchanting celestial bodies that make up our cosmic neighborhood. First, we learned about the Sun, our very own star, radiating energy and keeping our planets warm. From there, we zipped over to the speedy Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Then we visited the hottest planet, Venus, with its thick, cloud-covered atmosphere. Next we returned to our beautiful blue home, Earth, the only planet we know that has life. Mars, our red neighbor, was the next stop, with its dusty surface and towering Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system. We then ventured out to the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, with their swirling storms and majestic rings. Lastly we explored the mysterious ice giants Uranus and Neptune, with their beautiful blue hues, extreme weather conditions, and intriguing moons. Each planet, each star, every speck of dust in our solar system has a story to tell. So, let's keep our curiosity alive. Let's keep asking questions, exploring, and learning more about this wonderful universe we are a part of. Remember the universe is a big place full of things we can't even begin to imagine. Keep looking up and keep wondering who knows you might be the next great space explorer.